Hi everybody, welcome back. And um, I'm going to create a JavaFX application. Now for those who've been following some of my videos, you can see that I permanently de deleted all the applications which I created for testing the IDE and testing the JavaFX applications. So because I'm never going to use them again. So I'm going to go and click on File, ne uh, File and then go to New. Oh, let's try that again. File, New. That's <laughs> and we're going to go to other and then we're going to go to the java fx tab and select java fx project and click next and i'm going to call it project x and I click finish because i don't want to do anything else to it right now so there's our java fx uh, application with all the um, errors that you can see there and if we click on the code there You'll see that it's uh, that's the modular path. Let's click on the code. The main application. Sorry, I'll just click and close that modular path. There's lots of red errors there. So if we just right-click on pr on our main project name, and we go to build path, and we say configure build path. Click on the libraries tab. <coughs> click on modular path, and then add external jars. And then we're going to navigate to where we've installed our Java fx sdk libraries folder which i showed you all that in a previous video and we're going to click open and then we're just going to click apply and close and then all our red lines and errors will go away now this is what the code looks like inside the light uh, uh, background of the ide and i'm just going to change that to the dark one because i prefer that much better so i go to windows preferences and it under the general tab I'm going to click on appearance and here I'm just going to select the dark theme and apply and then we're going to restart <coughs> just to make sure that all works properly oh, excuse me There you go, and you can see why I like the dark, th dark theme so much, because um, you can see all the different colors and bits. So we're just going to go ahead, and for our application, we'll just... Uh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's just open this up, go to the source folder, applications, right-click on there, and say run as Java application. So our application works. Good. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, give our scene a name because as you can see that when we launch that there is no heading there. So we're just going to go ahead and create that heading there. And I'm just, uh, the uh, heading is set in the primary stage. Okay, so we're just going to call the primary stage dot set title and that's basically what we're doing and I'm going to call this one launcher because all I want this stage to do or this uh, window to do is launch the application that I'm going to create so now if we run it now we will see that we have a heading called launcher so we know that if we have lots of windows open what is what now I'm going to create a button inside this uh, uh, launcher of ours which is actually going to launch the application but for now I'm just going to create the button so it's just a button and it I will call it button start because it's going to start the application and this is going to be a new button I'm not going to use another button and I'm just going to hover my mouse over there and import the Java FX. So there we go, we have created our button, but we can still not see our button because we have not put it anywhere in the window. So <coughs> to do that, we need to put it inside the container. And at this moment, the container is a border pane and it's called root or it is stored in the root variable. So we need to call that root variable 
um, to put our button in. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. <coughs> and we're going to say root dot. And because the border pane yeah, has got five panes in it, it's got a left, a right, top, a bottom, and a center. And I want to put that button right in the center. So we're going to call the root and say set center. And uh, that's the one. <coughs> and we're going to put the button in there. So now you will see that if we run the application, we've got a very simple application with what looks like a button in there. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we will do is, is uh, we will just uh, put text inside the button and we put a string inside our button and we call it start and I'm just gonna go ahead and make the the view a little bit smaller because it will be a very small button in a very big screen so we'll do that and then we will just uh, click start <coughs> and there you go we have our very simple first application and it has a button right in the center nothing happens yet when you click it because I haven't done that and that is something for uh, the next video that will come up shortly so there we go and uh, well I hope you enjoyed that I hope that was useful and uh, do you know click and subscribe check the rest of my videos if you're curious and nosy enough and uh, Happy coding!